So it looks like the most comfortable shoes in the world are back with another version. I reviewed a pair of these, I think two or three years ago, and they were actually decent and they weren't bad on feet, but um, they have evolved quite a bit as a company since then. And now they have a latest and greatest runner that they recently released that I saw on a YouTube advertisement. So I actually ended up buying it off of one of my own video ads, which is hilarious. But I did wanna try them out and see what the buzz was about. So let's go ahead and get into the video. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys would like to shop this week's top sneaker deals that I curate for you guys, check the link in the description and happy shopping. If you guys are interested in buying any of Rejuvenator's sneaker cleaning products, they rebranded this year and the product looks amazing. Right now I actually have a 10% off discount code. It's only gonna be good for a day though, just a heads up and hopefully I'll have more discount codes in the future, but you can always check back to Collective Kicks. The discount code and basically the link is in the description. All you have to do is click the link make your purchase, and then at the checkout, my uh, discount code 10HESKICKS will already be applied. This is Allbirds, and I did a review video on the Allbirds Runner. It was a wool runner a couple years ago, and it was like a $90, $95 pair of sneakers. The confusing thing is they call them wool runners, even though they're not really running shoes. Well, this time around, Allbirds has actually created a running specific shoe, and this one looked really cool. It looked pretty athletic-like, and I was interested in hearing and seeing more about this and wondering if it's gonna be as good as they say. The quote for Allbirds has always been the most comfortable shoes in the world. In the world, the most comfortable shoes in the world. So I wanted to try these out and give you guys my two cents from a casual perspective. So I wore them for the last two days. But here is the box. And one thing to note from the beginning is this actually is a men's 9.5. In the original runners, they only had a nine and a 10. They only had full sizes. Now they offered half sizes in the new uh, runners. And this is called the Tree Dasher, as you can see. It says Dasher across there. And the bottom pull-up says better things in a better way. They have a lot of nice hidden details on the box to tell their story about the brand, which is what they've done in the previous video, if you saw it as well. They have a lot of little cool little Easter eggs. So this one also has up here, it says, making moves with natural comfort thanks to a seamless knit upper with reinforced zonal stretch paired with amplified traction and rebound. The Tree Dasher is everything you need to get active without sacrificing style. And then down here it says, run like the wind, designed for performance and crafted using premium natural materials like eucalyptus trees and sugar cane instead of petroleum-based synthetics. The Tree Dasher keeps you light on your feet while going easy on the planet. But these are the shoes right here. They're called the Tree Dashers, but I'll probably call them the Tree Huggers because uh, I don't know, they hug your feet and they're made of trees. So it's not a bad looking shoe. It looks somewhat generic in, in a sense because again, as usual, we have like a one piece knit upper, which is not anything new and inventive. We've seen that a bazillion different times from a bunch of different sneaker companies. But, um, but Allbirds does a really good job on this one. So the retail price on this is $125. You don't see a lot of ridiculous branding all over the shoe on the sides, on the tongue, on the, the heel top part, you do see a little bird logo. And then it does say all birds across the, the butt of the shoe and also on the insole. But it's pretty minimal with branding, which is kind of a nice attribute to a pair of sneakers nowadays. But the overall look of the shoe looks like just a regular shoe. It doesn't look like a running shoe per se. I mean, it looks kind of like a boat shoe, something you'd wear out with like a button up in khaki shorts. I mean, that's kind of what I picture these. But I have to say, as soon as I tried these on feet, I was like, whoa, this is actually again, a really, really comfortable shoe. So it wasn't any surprise to me that it was gonna be comfortable because of the wool runners that I tried years ago were actually quite comfortable as well. It's a different kind of comfort than like an Ultra Boost. Back then I compared it to the Adidas Ultra Boost, which then was the main thing that was comfortable. But now there's a dozen plus pairs of sneakers that I'm reviewing on this channel. If you haven't seen a lot of my videos, uh, subscribe and go check out my videos but there's a lot of really comfortable pairs of sneakers on the market right now and these actually fall in line quite nicely with a lot of the competition out there there's three main components that uh, all birds kind of touts when they are speaking about these shoes one is eucalyptus trees because the upper is made of eucalyptus trees two the midsoles made from sugar cane and then three the liner of the shoe is made with wool Wool is obviously the foundation of what Allbirds started with. And shout out to anybody that actually watched my original review of these in the con section of the video, because I did a pro and con. The con I actually mentioned that Allbirds was a funny name because they're touting all 100% wool, but they're not. it's not an all wool. 
It's like all birds. I thought it was just a silly name. Kind of funny, and now years later, it seems like these guys are flourishing and doing quite well. But anyways, those are the three main components of the shoe, but it's a little bit tricky because obviously it's just not only trees in the upper. They had to use other things to make it like woven. For the sole, it's obviously not just sugar cane. They used a rubber compound in here as well to make it soft and squishy and rubber-like. So to me, it's sort of like gummy bears saying they're 100% fat free. Well, gummy bears are always fat free. They're just loaded in sugar. It's kind of like a marketing ploy in a sense. It seems pretty gimmicky to me the way that they're like kind of promoting the sneaker. Somebody's like, oh, those are kind of cool sneakers. And you're like, oh yeah, they're the Allbirds. Oh, those are the ones made out of sugar. I get it. It's a fun way to be able to create buzz and awareness about your brand. And also they do tout that their carbon footprint is lower than a regular pair of shoes. Theirs is like at a nine, I believe, from what the website says, and regular shoes are like at an 11 something. And Adidas has been doing a lot of the carbon footprint sort of stuff as well with the Ultra Boost Parlay and stuff like that. So it's nothing really new that companies are trying to use more sustainable materials and something more natural, I guess. I, I don't even really understand what a carbon footprint is, and maybe I should. I probably should go back to grade school. But needless to say, you take all the gimmicks away from this shoe, and you put it on your feet, and you close your eyes, and you take a couple steps, and it's, it's a comfortable shoe. It's something that I was like, okay, this is cool. I get it. Like I get why people would want to wear these. The eucalyptus tree upper is actually pretty dope. It's really soft to the touch. But one thing I noticed is when you put them on feet, it's actually quite breathable as well. Like certain sections of the toe box area and the tongue is stretchier and like more breathable and thinner material. And it feels like on the sides and also on the heel cup area, it's like the material is more of like a two plier almost three ply material, but the pattern and the overall knit of the upper is actually quite nice. It's really surprisingly good on feet. There's not a lot of heel support on the back, but you don't really need it as much because of the wide platform of the midsole. And because of the wide stance on the bottom of the shoe, the shoes are quite supportive. It does say it has a dual density sugar cane uh, midsole, so I don't know why it's a dual density. I don't know what the two densities are. They do have some traction areas on the bottom of the front and the back of the shoe and that's not part of the dual density, I don't believe. Maybe they're considering the insole de dual density, I don't really know. It's definitely a nice midsole and, and squishy, but not like overly squishy on feet. I would say there's probably some energy return there, but this is nothing like Nike React. Like Nike React is tenfold better than this in my opinion, but I'll get more into that in just a second. The inner liner of the shoe is actually done quite well. Also with the wool liner, if you're allergic to wool though, this is obviously a no-go. The, the liner is wool and it's soft, but it does get warm. I mean, wool gets warm. And the wool actually lines up around the inside and then down through where the laces actually come together also, which is a really interesting feature of the shoe. You have what looks like almost Cheerios and these plastic little circles that go around. There's four on each side and they're stitched on really heavy. Uh, to the upper of the shoe, and that's how the laces are held together, which is kind of cool. I like the the look of it. At first glance, I didn't even notice it, but when you when you grab on them, you're like, oh, those are a little bit hard. The tongue is attached, and again, it's stretchable and breathable, and then the collar of the shoe is stretchable as well, and then you do have a little hit of leather on the back for like a little mock pull tab. But overall, the shoe on feet felt really, really good, and it was actually pretty refreshing. I could put them on with no socks, and they were really, really comfortable. Also, I put them on with no hands. They like passed the no hand test, which I wouldn't have imagined. But after looking at these shoes closer, like it looks like a direct rip of a Nike uh, Infinity React in a way. And um, it's not a bad thing. It's just the overall shape. I mean, look at the, the shape of the, the midsole is exactly the same, like big bulky midsole in the front and then also an oversized midsole on the back and then it even has the same shape where the Allbirds logo is and the Nike swoosh logo is uh, how it is kind of like squared off but so it's really interesting that they kind of bit Nike on the overall design of the shoe but to be 100% honest like the upper of the Allbirds I like better than the upper on the Nikes when I put them both on with no socks on honestly the Allbirds just felt more comfortable than the fly knit on the Nikes. And the only reason why I say this though is because the tongue and the back tab of the Infinity React just kind of rubbed on my ankle a little bit too rough. And I didn't have that problem with the Allbirds, which was surprising. I thought that these would have been more comfortable, but surprise, surprise, Allbirds were more comfortable with the upper. I will say though, when you transition into the midsole, that's where things change quite a bit. Now the Allbirds quote is it's the world's most comfortable shoes. Obviously there's a lot of other way more comfortable shoes out there, but the word comfort is obviously subjective. Personally, I like a softer, squishier midsole. This definitely has a firmer midsole when I wore them side by side than the Infinity React. The Infinity React is definitely noticeably 
softier and squishier in the heel section as well as the forefoot section of the shoe. There's just a lot of squish in this shoe. It's something that I've given lots of props to the Infinity React on. But the Allbirds Tree Dasher is soft and squishy, just not as soft as the Infinity React. So it's not bad, it's just not as good as that. But good for me might be different than good for you. So it just depends again. So I think that Allbirds really did a good job on reinventing a running sneaker in their fashion, in their form. Like they've really like carved out their own niche or niche. I don't know, is it niche or niche? I've always said niche, but I know a lot of, uh, anyway. I feel like they've definitely carved out their own little path with the Allbirds brand. They've come a long ways and I feel like this is a direct result of that because they're able to continue to expand since they have a relatively successful sneaker company now. So is it a good shoe? Yes. As from my running perspective though, I didn't run in the shoes. It's just one of those shoes that I've got to wear casually. Um, there's other channels that cover like actual performance running. My take from the outside looking in on that would be, of course you can run in it. You can run in bare feet. You can run in your church shoes if you really wanted to. They'd be comfortable because they're a comfortable pair of sneakers. It's an average running shoe, I would imagine. But again, follow those running sneaker channels and uh, they'll give you the, the rundown if they get these in their hands. From a casual perspective, is it worth paying $125 for? I mean, I'm used to paying $150, $180 for a pair of sneakers in general. So yeah, I'd say $125. So from my perspective, I'm actually pretty pleasantly surprised that they delivered a shoe that looks pretty stylish again, and is more geared toward the athletic side, even more so than their wool runners. And the upper is really soft and well put together. And the midsole is softer and squishier than previous as well. Wider foot friendly, which is great also. I did go true to size for those wondering. But what do you guys think? Is this a pair of sneakers that you guys are looking to buy or not? Uh, drop a comment and let me know in the comment section. If you guys are new to my channel, I really just talk about sneakers a lot. So uh, subscribe if you are new to the channel, hit the notification bell to be notified when my videos are posted. If you guys do want to buy a pair, I will link them in the description, but that's, uh, that's pretty much the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good rest of the day, and uh, we'll see you guys for some more sneaker videos soon. Peace, guys.